from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 21st, 2016. Tens of thousands from across the globe marched in Jerusalem yesterday to show their support for the Jewish state. The annual Jerusalem March saw participants from Israel and dozens of other countries waving their own country's flags as well as the Israeli flag to show their friendship and love for the country. The march traditionally takes place during the Sukkot holiday and as always security was high. Israel police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld said 3,500 police officers had been deployed across Jerusalem to protect the march as well as popular sites in the city during the Sukkot festival, which concludes Sunday night. Israel's security agency, the Shin Bet, released its monthly report today looking at the month of September in regards to terror incidents in the country, and specifically in Jerusalem. The Shin Bet said last month saw a spike in incidents, saying that terror attacks in Jerusalem doubled in September compared to August. There were 26 attacks in Jerusalem last month. They said 13 in August. However, the statistics for this past September were still 47 percent lower than the average number of attacks carried out in the city per month since the same time last year. Italy's prime minister is adding his voice to the outrage over the UNESCO resolution adopted this week that ignores Jewish and Christian ties to the holy sites of Jerusalem. Matteo Renzi said today that the resolution was, quote, incomprehensible, unacceptable, and wrong. Italy's ambassador to UNESCO, like many other Western European countries, abstained during the vote on October the 13th in Paris that preceded the vote of the executive board of UNESCO this week. Renzi told a local radio station that the envoy was not to blame. He said he had told the ambassador to consult with the country's foreign minister before the vote and that Italy's vote was according to its traditional position, that being in line with the rest of the EU countries. At the same time, Renzi said we cannot continue with these motions aimed at attacking Israel. He said to maintain that Jerusalem and Judaism do not have a relationship is to argue that the sun gets dark, something incomprehensible, indefensible, and wrong. He said, I specifically told the diplomats entrusted with these issues that this cannot continue. There is no denying reality. Also this week, 19 Jewish American lawmakers expressed their strong opposition to the UNESCO vote. They issued a joint bipartisan statement to that effect on Wednesday that also commended the United States administration for opposing the resolution, which they said could only exacerbate religious tensions and violence. The statement read in part that as Jewish members of the U.S. House of Representatives, we believe strongly in respecting the religious history and protecting the religious freedoms of Muslims, Jews, and Christians. That means respecting the claims of both Jews and Muslims to holy sites which have significance for both religions. French news agency AFP reports on a unique find near the Auschwitz death camp this week. A tiny carved wooden clog, likely a charm for a necklace, was found this month during maintenance work in the attic of a building of the Budibor Auschwitz subcamp, which is near the main death camp in Poland. It is thought to have belonged to one of the 90 French Jewish women murdered by camp guards during a massacre that took place at the subcamp just over 74 years ago on October the 5th of 1942. Agnieszka Molenda, who runs the Foundation of Memory Sites near Auschwitz-Birkenau, told AFP that the tiny charm was a real piece of art. She said prisoners at Auschwitz were forbidden to wear any sort of jewelry and that the charm, which is just 0.28 inches long, may have been a small symbol of resistance. And in Berlin this week, hundreds gathered for a commemoration of the first deportation of Jews to the Nazi death camps. The first so-called special transport left track 17 of Berlin's Grunwald station on the 18th of October of 1941. On Wednesday, attendees at the commemoration ceremony placed white roses on the train tracks and along the platform of Track 17, and President of the German Parliament, Norbert Lammert, called for a fight against anti-Semitism and xenophobia.
And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS, live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by a concert with Pharaoh's Daughter at 7.30. At 8 tonight, New Republic editor Leon Wieseltier and Israeli author Yossi Klein Halevi speak to Gary Rosenblatt on several issues like the Jewish settlements, President Obama, and Prime Minister Netanyahu. At 9, it's the film Inspired. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 5.30, Rabbi Shlomo Riskin shares his thoughts on this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 21st, 2016. I'm Tisha Bader. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.